What's up? It's the end of January. Goodbye to January. Hello, February. You know, one of the listeners reminded me that February is the month of love. I had to beg him. Don't remind me. February or Valentine's Day is the bane of every single girl's existence. I don't know. I just don't want to be reminded. Okay, thank you very much. Either way, my name is Eva. This is the After Show Podcast, where I give you highlights of everything that went down on the show from Monday to Friday. In case you missed it during the week because of work or anything, you can actually listen to me post play rewind and understand because i've been told i talk too fast i'm still working on that it's that time of the month where you get the beep beep buzz buzz what does that mean i love still on it yes some of you have already received it while some of us are yet to either way i had to tell you how to save proper so you don't get broke before the next payday getting you proper started for this monday kiss daniel for days my name is ima what's up ph how you doing let's check out how to save cash today Heard about working for your cash? How about letting your cash work for you? Find out how right here. We'll let you know how big little cash can be for you. Balling on a budget. Living from one paycheck to another is not the financial freedom you want. It goes like this. You work, you get paid, you settle your bills, you begin to spend nonstop until you run out of money. And when that happens, borrowing becomes the next option, right? wrong this is a bad financial habit and kind of explains why your salary a lot is the only sound that gives you relief however it's possible to get out of this lifestyle but to do so you must first recognize the problem knowing the root cause of the problem will give you a clear idea of how to tackle it after doing this you realize two things one is either you're spending too much or two you are not making enough money and if you're spending too much cut your expenses if you're not earning enough find a side hustle gotta take over your finances proper to ball on a budget the beat freaks shaka mr easy shay shay next case by teddy sound city radio 96.5 good morning what's up bh my name is Eva. how you doing pamela god's power said uh do you know that babies carry many more bones than adults i did not know that however i do know this how to help you save cash next Heard about working for your cash? How about letting your cash work for you? Find out how right here. We'll let you know how big little cash can be for you. Balling on a budget. Do you have problems tracking your spending? Do you never, ever, ever seem to calculate accurately just how much money you spend? This is where your smartphone comes in. Instead of going through the stress of tracking your monthly expenses with a spreadsheet and getting yourself confused, you can just download a money tracking app, which is designed for ease of use and makes it easier for you to see patterns in your spending behavior. There are so, so many free online money apps, okay? It's called a smartphone, right? Use it smartly it could be the help you need to keep balling on that budget <laughs> on the low burner boy sounds in the radio 96.5 go about it what's up ph my name is eva let's save cash right now heard about working for your cash how about letting your cash work for you find out how right here we'll let you know how big little cash can be for you it's that time again when the alert notification will be hitting you up for a job well done. However, studies have shown that most people literally jump on the spending spree immediately after receiving payments a lot. Which is why you must be cautious and smart about this. A good way to do so is by drawing out clear goals way before the alert hits your phone. If you always have to wait to receive your salary before you decide what to spend the money on, you'll probably overspend and run out of cash before the next payday therefore if you really wish to save and spend your money wisely you have to spell out what your saving goals for the month will be days before payday mind you make sure your saving plans are realistic and achievable stay sharp and keep balling on a budget all right flip the new worries next leave me alone sounds to the radio well it's one thing to be financially safe but are you safe online is that serious data privacy day had to be talked about on monday and uh, mr easy see me sounds to the radio 96.5 what's up ph my name is ima how are you doing in the words of see me social media is like a drug you always need a fix however i want to know how much information about you 
is freely available to strangers. Over the weekend, I rewatched the series You and I got all creeped out all over again. Remember, it was our flicks and chills last two weeks about a guy that got obsessed with a girl and started tracking her easily, all thanks to social media. It made me ask myself a good question Just how much private information is too much information online? How much access do you grant social networks to your likes, your hobbies, and your personal information? Today, being a data privacy day, encourages you to ask these questions and to look at and protect your privacy you can never be too safe i hope you get it in case you haven't heard idris elba is now a musician a musician here he is with wiley sean paul steph london it's got to be really smart though it's not everything you put out there and speaking of being smart this guy was my mcm because he's so amazing i am waiting to see more things that this guy will do Bam Bam Timaya Olami Day Sound City Radio 96.5. Good morning. What's up, PH? My name is Ima. I always admire people who do the most. As someone like Osharanoya Agabi, this Nigerian neuroscientist has created the world's first computer that can think like a human being. As in, rather than simply mimic brain function with chips, Agabi flips the script and borrows actual material of human brains to create the chips imagine and his startup company kodiku touts itself as the first and only company on the planet building chips with biological neurons total genius mr agabi plans to do so much more and i definitely stand him a hundred percent as my mcm for today you know who is your mcm hit me up let me know south city PhD on socials or 0816 on whatsapp a pep paula on whatsapp says her fiance is her man crush she loves him like kilo din and shout out to newton isaac jr he said my man crush goes to me because i do everything possible to make me feel good no matter the condition i love this beautiful in it sometimes yeah when i see peeps like this doing the most i start asking myself questions like what's my brain for what am i using my brain for and then i remember hey i'm here to make sure you are informed of everything going on in the world which is what i did on monday as well taking you 45 seconds around the world with the biggest stories that went down over the weekend South City Radio 96.5 What's up BH? My name is Ima Let me take you around the world in 45 seconds now Documentary on Michael Jackson's alleged sexual abuse Leaves audience at film festival shocked Black Panther, the marvelous Mrs. Maisel Wins big at the 2019 SAG Awards Chris Brown returns to the United States Following Puri rape arrest Kanye West reportedly sues Jay-Z's Rockefeller Records Trial for murder of Nicki Minaj's tour manager begins four years after. Novak Djokovic wins magnificent seventh Australian Open. Federal government warns US, UK and EU against meddling in the country's internal affairs. Senate to reconvene on Tuesday over sacked CGN while National Judicial Council is set to hold emergency meeting later today. Banky W denies signing contracts to support Buhari and David O shuts down London's O2 Arena. What's it out for you this weekend? Let me know. Hit me up. South City PHT on socials. Or 0816-8845-643 on WhatsApp. South City Radio. So now you're up to speed, eh? I had the opportunity to check out a healthy spot. I know it's weird putting Ima and healthy in one sentence because it never happens. But I decided, hey, my new year resolutions are still going strong. And one of the plans for my new year was to eat better and eat healthier. So I decided to try this spot out and it wasn't bad at all. DJ Eni, Money, LK Kudi, Kiss Daniel, Olami Day, Cranny of Sound City Radio, 96.5. Good morning. My name is Emma. I'm here with you to 10 a.m. All right. So in the spirit of living up to my 2019 resolution of eating better, I tried out a new spot around GRA. That's all about the green lifestyle in PH. Not like new, new, but it's new for me. And let me say it wasn't bad at all. Who says you can't indulge while eating healthy? I had herbed and spicy wings with sweet potatoes and it was amazing who knows these guys might actually help me shed off the unhealthy lifestyle i would not hold my breath though still is my top taste for today what is yours hit me up with the last chow you had that blew your mind away sounds like the pat on socials or 0816-8845-643 on whatsapp yeah the thing is it's kind of a puzzle how i tend to eat a lot but never seem to add my friends always ask me this question i had an encounter with a friend on i think that was wednesday yeah so we went to hang out together i just met him we stopped by at a mall and i was like oh sorry my stash is finished there's something i call a stash where i always 
have like junk food to keep me going he sees me picking up burger this that and he looks at me like please all these things you're eating where does it enter and i'm like my guy if you want to solve me i'm a very tough puzzle and speaking of puzzles though tuesday was puzzle day how good are you with puzzles i tend to make mistakes with the rubik's cube but i'm amazing with cross rock puzzle and jigsaw but something else that's a puzzle is how yemi alade seems to be pushing and pushing and pushing see i respect her hustle i am not a big fan although we are birthday mates but i always respect the fact that no matter what happens she doesn't back down she just goes ahead she's now the second nigerian to hit a hundred hundred million views on youtube and i think she's the first female nigerian musician to do so that's amazing <laughs> giving it to you tasty like chicken curry mr easy snick boo sounds of the radio now that's 6.5 good morning my name is ima how you're doing today i'm celebrating this lady not only because we share the same birthday date but mostly because of her latest big break. In case you haven't heard, Yemi Alade is now the second Nigerian to hit the 100 million views landmark on YouTube. All thanks to her Johnny video, Yemi Eberichi Alade has come a long way from being a part of the all-girl group Naughty Spices back in 2005 and winning a talent show in 2009 to becoming one of the biggest names in the music industry, which definitely makes her my WCW for today. And did I mention again that we share the same birthday? Yes, yes, I think I did. Still really hoping she finds her Johnny anytime soon. Anywho, who is your WCW? Hear me up. Sounds like PAT on socials or 0816-8845-643 on WhatsApp. Your semi C Travis Scott gonna next. You can't make this stuff up because if you check the internet, you'll see it everywhere. Yemi Alade is now the second Nigerian to hit the 100 million views landmark on YouTube. But there's something else you just can't make up. There's the story of this chick. During the week, the rains in Pochakot started, yes? I had problems standing up from my bed. You know, my duvet was my baby. It's like it's telling me, don't go, stay with me. And, but I don't think I'll be so stupid to be in love with my duvet because it's been there for me through tough times i don't know how this lady thinks but this is a legit story from london about a lady that's getting married to her duvet on some sound of music vibes uh, seven rings ariana grande sounds to the radio at a 6.5 good morning what's up ph my name is ima shout out to bob on instagram he says he overslept because of the cool post rain breeze and woke up an hour later than usual see as much as i love my job yeah there's some mornings when crawling out of my duvet is the most painful thing to do and today uh, one of those days either way my love for my duvet is definitely not as bad as this weird story that i just stumbled on so this 49 year old lady is planning to marry her duvet because according to her is the most intimate and reliable relationship she has ever had she says the ceremony will be held on the 10th of february and the dress code is night wears can you imagine she on the other hand will be wearing a nightgown dressing gown and slippers for the big day but she's keeping her husband to be's outfit a surprise as in a duvet is someone's husband to be fam i can't even make this up she hired a wedding planner and everything to marry a duvet i'm done i'm, I'm done would you attend a wedding like this if you get a free invite would you let me know i right? also let me know the crazy but true story you've heard recently share with me sound city PAT on socials or 0816-8845-643 on whatsapp i can't get this story out of my head i think the lady is just obsessed with sleeping or staying in bed which kind of makes sense but not so much sense at the same time i'm just saying though this is just weird she needs to get her life together and get organized january was actually get organized month and i talked about it on wednesday no matter what you do you can't escape the harsh realities of life you can't play games with life getting married to your duvet doesn't mean you will not still go out and face the reward it makes no sense and i talked about games on thursday yes escape room the trailer had me all flustered fam it's like a thriller and a horror movie at the same time i just had to talk about it on thursday because i am dying to see this movie on the low burner boy sounds City radio 96.5 good morning what's up ph my name is eva you got me to 10 a.m so yesterday i watched the trailer of the movie escape room and fam i can literally tell it will be worth it long story short escape room is a psychological thriller about six adventurous strangers who travel to a mysterious building to experience the game where players compete to solve a series of puzzles not only to win the prize money but also to survive
This serves as an entry voucher for Minos escape rooms. Be the, the first, first to escape our most immersive, immersive room, room yet. And win a million dollars. So, uh, when does the game start? I think this is the escape room. I love it already. Directed by Adam Robitel for Sony Pictures on a budget of $9 million. Currently, he has a 55% rating on the Tomatometer by top movie critic site Rotten Tomatoes. And as I said before, the trailer has got me really, really, really excited. Also, don't miss out on the other cool movies already showing. You know something else I love about the cinemas? Junk food. But what exactly is your favorite type of junk food at the cinemas? I'm just thinking about it right now. Twerk, City Girls, Cardi B next. Yo, there's some movies, yeah? You just get inspired by the director, the producer, the screenwriter, everyone that put their hands into it. And this is how I feel about this movie, to be honest. Getting inspired by the artistic side of somebody is an amazing way to actually inspire yourself. And I mentioned that on Thursday because it was celebrated as well. I got even more inspiration on Friday from the flicks I checked out. Peaky Blinders is amazing. It's set in the aftermath of World War One, and it checks out a particular guy. That was a huge problem in England. Yellow BZ, Lil Baby, up one. Sounds in the radio, that is 6.5. TGIF, happy new month. My name is Ima, what's up, PH? I stumbled on another crime drama series and I love it. The show Peaky Blinders tells the story of Tommy Shelby, the brilliant leader behind the Peaky Blinders, an Irish gypsy gang in 1920s England. We're Peaky Blinders. We're not scared of corners. We will rip this city of his kind. Justice will be done. If you want to be part of my organization, you have to make sacrifices. I'm a businessman. I want to make my business successful. Set in the aftermath of World War One, is actually based on the real-life gangster family Peaky Blinders. With a total of 24 episodes, over four seasons, is already gearing up for season five this year. Trust me when I say this show is top-notch. I just finished it and I'm already obsessed. Plus, it has a 95% rating on Rotten Tomatoes and a proper 8 over 10 rating on IMDb and TV.com. Has even won a couple of awards, so I'm not just saying stuff. Peaky Blinders is my proper flicks and chill for the day. Try it out. Also, let me know which one you're watching right now sounds to the ph on socials or 0816-8845-643 on whatsapp all about the chase next with dj jimmy jat yeah that's it i am waiting for season five that is dropping this year i think i'm done with everything i'm talking about i need to get out and go get me proper hot breakfast right now hey today is hot breakfast day i'm about to go do that okay thank you so much for listening to the podcast as always my name is ima i'm the host of what's up ph on south city radio that is 6.5 port Court. you can catch me every mondays to fridays 6 a.m to 10 a.m get connected with everything happening download the sound city app also check out the website www.soundcity.tv so you're never far away from anything happening you're never far away i can't believe i just did that till next time I say adios, bis Bye.